Welcome back, thanks for supporting the channel guys. I'm gonna do another test here for Windows 10 ARM and running on the M1 MacBook Air 8 gigabytes RAM. So I got the Parallel 16 technical preview installed and Windows 21227. Now for this test, it's also going to be recording the activity monitor using OBS and to get some good screen recordings, it's going to be at 1500 kilobytes per second. So keep that in mind when you're watching this benchmark or test of some of the Microsoft office stuff, um, it could, you could get better performance and, um, yeah, that's really all I have to say for that. At least from my testing, it used one gigabyte Ram. Also, some additional stuff you'll have to know for the testing is that in Parallel 16, you could choose the CPU and memory. For this test, we are choosing the two CPUs and three gigabytes of RAM dedicated to the Windows 10 ARM, and that's typically the settings when you do productivity. So if you've seen my previous test, I had tested out uh, some office tests here in this folder, which included 15 megabyte files for Word, five megabyte files for PowerPoint, and a big superstore copy for the Excel. And in that version, running on natively on MacBook, on Mac OS, I was able to just open every file and it would load, um, as you're seeing here in this B-roll footage. Now, when I was testing here on Windows 10 ARM and at the two gigabyte settings, it wasn't as smooth and the performance wasn't as great. Specifically on Word, I wasn't even able to just open the Word documents themselves. Um, I'm not exactly sure what settings it is or it's because I have low RAM, but Word would just refuse to open at all. So I did have to go into task managers to shut it off, but I do want to point out, I'm not sure if there's a way to change this setting, but on Windows, it only shows one gigahertz as the processor. And then of course, as I mentioned before in the settings, three gigabytes of RAM. Now, um, after I got Word closed, I wasn't able to get it open in any of the testing. And I went ahead and tried to open the multiple PowerPoint files. So here I definitely see the limitations of running Windows 10 ARM, at least on the settings I have here. Perhaps if you uh, are deciding between eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes, there are some other people, especially like created labs or other YouTube searches you could search for who are testing Windows 10 exclusively. But you can see here the loading time of opening up a five megabyte file definitely has its impacts. So, um, you know, based on these early tests and what I would say is one, it's Windows 16 technical preview and there are going to be developing it more. And then second, not only that, Windows 10 ARM is emulating 86 and 64 bit software. So you could expect better performance down the line, or if you're holding out, wait to see how more of these benchmarks and development happens. Now, I will say that even with two processors and one uh, three gigabytes of RAM, it still opens up and you still get the full functionality of Windows 10 uh, Microsoft Office Suite, which is different than Mac OS. Specifically in Excel, you can see here that macros work. You can do some further stuff with pivot tables and all the jazz that you would want to do that isn't available in the Mac OS version of um, the Office Suite. So my recommendation is if you are on Mac OS and you're familiar with both Windows and Mac OS and you need the functionality that Windows offers um, until Microsoft ports over the same functionalities, this could be a viable option for some of you who need to run uh, some of the stuff that Microsoft Office needs to do on the Windows version. Now, in the previous version, I had done a test where I'd simply drag down a simple sum formation and it's able to do it instantly like that on the M1. But you can see here that with two processors and this double emulation layer from Parallels and also on Windows 10 emulating, it does take quite some time to do that. So I guess one test that I'll do in a further video is I need to see if Microsoft themselves offers a ARM version of their Office Suite or if they are truly only offering an emulated version of 32-bit. Um, but that is something to consider. I'd had some comments of people trying to ask pivot tables and stuff like that. That's only available in the Windows 10 version or the Windows version of this. And so I would say, um, you know, definitely turn up the cores or wait until some of the technical stuff happens. But for the most part, you could get it done, um, but try to do as much 
calculations on the Mac OS version if possible. Another thing I tested was OneNote. And as I mentioned before, there is some things that Mac OS OneNote can't do. One thing that I particularly like is this find tags. This is only available on the Windows version. Um, I use this for my studying for my test. You can see any tag that I've done for a section that I'm able to create these summary pages. Very helpful to do. And doing Windows emulation on Mac OS, you could at least get that setting running. Finally, the last thing I tested was opening up a Visio file. So if you had been following me on some of my tests or stuff like that, you would see that Crossovers was able to get Microsoft Visio running, um, but there were some compatibility issues and sometimes it would crash a lot. At least in this version, it opens and didn't really crash from my testing. But what I did find is that every time I open Microsoft Visio, this annoying uh, please wait thing that you're seeing on screen happens every time. Um, and that could definitely impact some workflow and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if there's a repair thing that could happen. I tried doing it in control panels, but it didn't work. But as you can see, Physio opens, even though it takes some time to load, definitely runs, definitely um, can do all the macros and stuff that you may need if you have a Visio that is using macros. Overall, that wraps my thoughts. Definitely a lot of compatibility that works, but depending on which version you have, it seems kind of slow to do some of the testing that you may want to do. Um, definitely some things with Visio that could impact you. But for the most part, Microsoft Office, the full suite is working and um, you know everything runs well. You could even use Teams to share screen from Mac to this Windows version if you need to share with your coworkers. Um, so in this free technical preview, you'll be able to use it and have Microsoft working. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, any likes or comments or subscribes could help me out. I'm trying to reach that 1000 for monetization and see what could happen with this channel. Been a pretty fun side project, but um, for the most part, leave comments below if you want me to test anything and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a happy holiday, guys. Take care.